emergency dependents, all, all this different type of stuff, you know. Yeah. So, anywho, there's also leave management. Like, if somebody wants to take a leave, they can request, and, and it can run through this system, and you get notified, you can approve it or deny it. It also works as a, um, this is a, a paid function, but this is like time punch. Um, anyway, so I'll, I'll go, that, that was a really word. we would actually load in. Um, I've done work on the back side in another tab where I reloaded to the actual titles. Okay. Um, um, so it becomes, you know, if you're just populating it for a drop down for you can access. So if we um, look at the HR generalist, Yeah, that's nice. Does let me ask you a question here. Does this platform actually allow you to post or this is just tracking? Both. So wait for it. Here we go. So there's an RSS feed URL and there's a web page URL. These can be placed on Facebook. Oh nice. Um, and then I have it also written here to look at building out another opportunity page in your website or somewhere that's pre existing about opportunity. Click on Click on that web. See how does it look? So if I, it, it's like this, right? So uh -huh. active job vacancies, developer, and there's HR generalist. If I expand all, then I can see all of the developer stuff. And this is what nice. I just copied and pasted out of Wiki. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That page there. Yeah. Um, and added in some extra stuff down here. Uh, re relink to that main page that gets people fully immersed in in all the information, and then also a separate link of that invitation call from you talking that you but and then below here is of course the HR generalist. So mm -hmm. if I want to apply, all I do is I click apply. Mm -hmm. And this is what the candidate sees, right? So I just type in who I am. Yeah. So the application receives HR open source should get it or, or Yeah, HR HR should get it. HR should get it. Um, I think I'm sorry, I'm just trying to remember who I put down as the hiring manager. That's who's going to get it. Yeah, so it would be hr at opensourceecology.org. Are you in that account, or can you hop into that account and see if that's where the... Yeah. Do you want me to go there so, right so, now? Yeah, just hop in there so you can see what, you know, acting as the candidate, that that's my email, that's what it says to me as a candidate. And then there should be another email that hits the hiring manager... Um, sorry, I can't remember for me. I put ego. No, I put. Anywho. Yeah. Sorry, uh, but ultimately, you, the hiring manager gets notifi notified, and then of course there's a, a constant immediate, immediate response to the candidate. Maybe, you know that we've got your application. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, now, so let's see, Orange HRM, this is to confirm that, yeah, you can look at my screen, that's this, that's the last email I got. Was I supposed to get another email right now? Uh, yeah, not this, that's the test one I did this morning. There should be another one that drops in. Yeah. <laughs> in theory.
Yep. Okay, well, just to be time sensitive, um, I wonder why that didn't drop in. All the test emails were working. Mm -hmm. I, um, okay, so I'll, I'm going to keep forging forward. So at, at this point, um, you know, we would be in our, our, our software here, and then we would say, okay, well, let me stall our candidate couple of the test ones that I've done, but here's, you know, here's that, that last one that I just did. So if I click on it, oh, Connie's applied for a developer, so let's open it up. You know, here's her basic information, and then here's her resume attached. So I just click on it, and then, mm -hmm. well, well, I'm not just scan any extra windows, but... The thing, um, the first thing we want to do is that video cover letter, like, is there, so probably... I mean, resume is good. I, I really want to see what people have to say and stuff. So, um, yeah, is, we can probably put a link here to submit video cover letter link or something like that. Yeah, this is this is what I would recommend right now um, until we t fine tune the process. So this is the original contact from somebody. So we can kind of scan over their resume. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would then make that personal contact. So yeah, that you or somebody on the HR team would reach out to Connie and say, hey, we received your applications. We're very interested in moving forward and learning more about you. Please follow these links and these instructions to continue the process, something like that. Yeah. That way we personally email them. They can click on the link, understand that they have to do a video, you know, cover letter, so on and so forth, and start the process there. Ultimately, what we're doing with this is we're centralizing anybody that's interested in joining the team all in one place, nice and organized. Mm -hmm. um, and with this, so let's say that um, Connie sends in her video cover letter and everything completes all the process and it's fantastic. You know, we want to move forward. At this point, as a hiring manager, I would click on edit, select an action. I would say shortlist. That means I'm moving Connie forward into the, um, Connie into next step mm -hmm. first interview that and then you know after after this part let's say um sorry so it's, now i want to do an actual interview with connie i want to i want to skype with her i want to talk to her whatever so we'll say like skype session interview will be marked uh, and we are going to do it on the 23rd at uh, hours so now step of the way on each that I scheduled her for an interview on the 23rd at mm -hmm. and so it's it's not looking at this system going into my um, um, email and then my calendar I can just everything is um, yeah. all in one spot uh, is this connected to like doing? notifications like notifications would come from this like for, no I mean we set this up and and um, but then we have to follow up with them to to invite them to that session. Wait, do we do it twice, or does this send it automatically to the candidate? This is, this sends it to them automatically. That okay. I've just now invited them to have a Skype meeting. So we can walk. You know, we can do a, a, a template here. Yeah. Okay. What we say. Yeah. So we notify them, and then they would contact back if you know if they can meet or if they're at a or or whatever. Um. Anyway, so you know, this you know, this goes along with kind of that work on the log on, on my my ATS card. Of course, so let's say you know my interview is dollars. So this so you know it. It's not about making more sense, but the, the appreciation of the, the functionality and the process flow in this becomes more attractive as you have 
10, 15, 20 candidates stacked racked, you know. Right. So if you keep, we'll keep your HR people uh, or myself organized so we know yeah. who's, who's where in the process. Right, because otherwise it will be all over the place, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we have multiple Excel sheets, so on and so forth. So let's say, you know, I, you know we have an option to do up to like multiple scheduled interviews. But, you know, then let's say if you were ready to pull a trigger, we're going to go ahead and offer the money. So I would put in whatever here. And then now I would say, I'm trying to go to the and I'm offering a permanent here. So I would go ahead Other options to get to my account on this path. Money might come back to me. Uh, you know what? I can find so I can go ahead and find. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense for once we get this workflow and we got a many, many candidates and we got to handle all of them. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. So my biggest struggle over the last couple of days, is, you know, finally giving you a test deal that went through this morning was uh, the triumph because I kept running technical errors that Yeah, yeah, I'd say I say we should go forward with that. I mean, it's it's good to to get us more organization into the process. Have you which of the ones have you looked at? What other platforms? Yeah. Did you find anything else oh, that was uh, any compelling or this one looks good enough I so would, we go forward with it? Uh, yeah, this, this one I want to move forward with. I would highly recommend just because of the ease of the functionality. Yeah. The other stuff didn't and one of the biggest selling points here is it actually serves um, as the uh, application tracking system that I can embed in this course or on our organized website. The other one um, is not that. We also want it to load onto um, the own server. Um, a couple other ones. Tell me which, which. What are the names of the ones that you you tried besides Orange? Uh, hold on, I will. So we keep in track for the future. And also, the other comment was. Uh, did you get my email about uh can you weekly do a do hours logging on your log on your work log yeah, yeah i started that I, I got caught up excellent all right so working from like the top eight from i i'm a huge fan of captera uh looking at reviews for software and systems so this is where i started my journey so you 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 can go to this site also um, and peruse and look at the systems out there. Um, there's open cats and, and a lot of these are, they say that they're open source. There's, there's, there's kind of catchy, but well, can you paste a link to, to that page in the chat, which is the blue box? I want to click on that link.
Excellent, yeah. So, did you actually look through eight of them, or...? Eight, eight and plus. I'll have to go back through my notes and tell you the other ones. The other ones were just way beyond... Like, it would take an IT, dedicated IT person. Yeah. But with the, the developers that continue to update stuff, um, I just don't think we have the resources for something like that. And again, some of the patches are... Uh, they don't allow embedding on your own, your own website. Um, no social media integration. Um, you can only post one job at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and the other cons were having to load their software onto their own server. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. You know, it's, if you'd like me to put together a summary of why. I think I think that's good if you we so we evaluated you actually did you actually end up downloading the the eight ones or like if you found it just not suitable you just didn't even bother downloading or using it well I mean one was I, I you know I don't have a I can go get first eight or somewhere out there I, I didn't go that far once that I had to load it onto my own I was like no oh, yeah forget about that have, yeah. I don't like that. Um, uh, and then the rest was the catches of, I, I bypassed anybody that you can only do one job at a time, or right. you'll, you'll turn up to 50 resumes, and then anything over 50 resumes, you have to pay X amount, X amount of dollars a month. What I'd like, you, like to ask you, if you could just very quickly just jot down your notes in like, you know, 10 minutes. On your, on your log if you can just go through the ones that you did look at so that in the future when we're looking for things we know oh but we took a look at that and we didn't like this and such and such yeah yeah absolutely excellent no that's great um well i like the, these features like especially the embedding and posting i mean we want to one of the features we definitely need is we just need to track of a, a lot of people at the same time because uh so one one is developers but the other part that we really actually got to take seriously and i was actually thinking about this today as we start our university as we teach people to build new civilizations on demand <laughs> we're going to need a lot of subject matter experts and like for example just to give you an example of how it works like right now i pretty much spent one week trying to figure out this hydraulic stuff I, you know i'm reworking the brick press here and there was just some really weird stuff that was happening, and, and I actually figured it out, but it was actually a challenging problem, it turned out. And it's one of those things that if I had some subject matter experts on hydraulics that were readily available, say we got you know a board of like 3 to 12 hydraulics experts, which is a common area, like all our machines use hydraulics. Uh -huh. um, but in that case, I would have just gone to them and, you know in an hour or in a day instead of the whole week I would have had the answer so so I'm thinking that we definitely want to pay attention to the sub subject matter experts and I think Orange HRM as, as far as it looks we we can also track the the SMEs recruiting which is a much it's it's kind of good for morale too because SMEs would only be like an hour of conference time per week or something or just basically ad hoc knowledge contributions Right. which would be really valuable but but i think we should get pretty serious about recruiting them as well because for that we also have to go through a number of people to and say okay well what's compelling about this person you know just study them and study all those practical things like are they actually accessible do they actually provide any useful information are they just grumpy and you can't get at them even though they agreed to to consult with us stuff like that it, to to do a really good sme board i think would require a a serious effort and I think we can track it with this as well what, what do you think yeah so I mean right here I can build out hydra d-r-a u-l-i-c more time hydra like you have a u-l-i-c So in that, you can say design of solenoid valves. <laughs> sure. It's a technical thing. 
solenoid. Wait, clearly it's <laughs> S O L E N O I D. One more time, S O L E N O I D. Solenoid like valves. No, it's a very specific subject matter expertise. But it's one of those, you know, if you think about like maybe top 200 things that are used in society, it's one of those actually. Not a lot of people may know that, but um, it's like everywhere. They're everywhere in automation, in cars, everywhere. Um, but yeah, like so. Yeah, we could totally build out, put this into our job bank. So I, you know, definitely would need a, a more detailed job description and then any type of attachment that, you know, like we did a job summary or like even for developers, you know, you want to make sure that they come with kind of skills. We'll look at them out. Anyway, I'll just save this for now and I'll yeah. come back. And you know what we can do? We can go. In that little field, all we need to do is put a link to the wiki. Because I'm all all the time with these these kinds of platforms. You know, are they going to disappear or not? But we right. can put a simple link to the full description, which would be on the wiki, for example. So so that way, we can index stuff on the wiki pretty easily. Absolutely. So if I go to recruitment, they got an open, got a big or. So I'm going to uncheck these so it won't be live, mm -hmm. but by having these checked, that, that activates these links so it would go onto that page. But just my purpose of showing this to you is just the, how simple it is to, to build it out. Yeah. Once we check Know, we can make them go live and then they'll continue to go on to this this page you know so we can just stack out as many speed classifications that we wanted to you know nice and this is all so this is a link we can give to somebody can we embed this or or just send it to them to this link um yeah we can embed yep. it yep sure yep yeah mm -hmm. this, this this little link is magical i mean we need to get it onto um, the, the actual OSC website. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's. We can do. Uh, you know right iframe. Do you know iframes? I do not, but I could learn it if I needed to. No, that's it. It's easy. Uh, we can basically put it in an iframe, and it will appear on a website uh, within another web page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Yes, yes, yeah. That, I mean, that's how Facebook works. Facebook works on iframes. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. So wherever we wanted to put it, but I certainly, certainly would like to draw some attention. So even at this website oh, wow. as it stands right now, it would be really great to put anything that's going to draw attention of, you know, looking for, you know, uh, contributors, you know, click here to learn more that would take to, you know, what, whatever, um, I, I guess it would be the collaborator page, right? Yeah. Maybe somewhere. Actually, but, right. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We got to start using our website a little more because we don't use it a lot. We're going to give it a little facelift as we get, get our ass all, you know, all yeah. organized. But um, I just looked up, um, actually... I must commend you on a great choice for Orange HRM because I just looked it up on Wikipedia and it's it's under the GNU General Pub Public License, which is the license that we use. That's an open source license. So and it's also I just read it was the first ever open source human resource information system. So that, that's that's very good. 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 Yeah. So it's in line with the, the values and the vision. Yeah, so. completely in line. And they're based on Sea Caucus, New Jersey. That's where I come from. So, see, <laughs> I come from New Jersey. I, uh, when I came to the states, I came to New Jer New Jersey. So, that's just great. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, 
glad, I'm glad you're pleased, but that it... Yeah, just for well, detail, detail purposes, the database that it uses, it's called MySQL. It's the same uh -huh. same framework that we use for our web server and all that. So it's it's good. It totally it can totally integrate with our computer infrastructure. Yeah. That's great. Um, you know, when I was having snafus with getting emails to go out, and I was going out to the forums and the all the folks that contribute to Orange. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them are they're hardcore. They're like hardcore coders and stuff talking. Mm -hmm such a different language, it was, yeah, it was crazy, it's an eye-opening experience, so I'm, gr I'm glad that it um, will talk to what you guys are doing currently, yeah. that everything easier. And notable clients, the European Union, hey, if the European Union uses it, might be good, all right. <laughs> Red Hat, the computer company, uses that, that's good, I mean, Red Hat is the biggest open source software company in the world. Uh, so yeah, no, this, this is good. That means they're an established good company. Mm -hmm. Good, then we can feel good about using it. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so next steps. Um, I wanted to, I need to vet out why I'm to email uh, but I, I, by Sunday late afternoon, um, I'll have more time over the weekend to keep this um, a little bit tighter and be able to go ahead and release like a first round of demand uh, message um, that will include this. Right. How do, how are you on copywriting? I mean, is that, are you good at that or? Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of. No, I'm not kind of. I am good at writing um, in a recruiting voice of catching people's attention. Not yeah. being too cheeky or anything, but enough that it's 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 not mechanical and it's more yeah. it's, I don't, as much of a connection as you can with somebody. Um, so, I mean, I'd like to... I mean, I, I can absolutely... Um, I can run all of this by you, launch it to you first, just so I have a second set of eyes is also fantastic um, before I release to the team. Do you want to do something? Do you have time over the weekend if I sent you something? Um, not on Sunday, but Monday, yeah. Okay. I can take a look at it on Monday. All right. Well, then I'll, I'll just gear everything up and have everything idling. By Sunday afternoon, I'll send it. And then once I have your approval, if I have to tweak anything, I can do that on Monday and then blast it out to the team. That sounds great. That sounds great. Okay. Um, do you have anybody else besides your your yourself that can write out SME descriptions or something? Or do you want to put that as like the phase two on this and just get the developer and HR piece live? No, I mean, it's it's kind of a specialized thing because the biggest thing about the SMEs is knowing which, what is the priority order of SMEs that we want to uh, recruit. An idea there is this to try to match it up as closely with our development roadmap as possible so that they're actually work, working in concert. It's not like we're not getting random people at random times to make, make our effort more effective. There could be some good sequencing added to that. To make it more on track with what we're doing so that the SMEs are directly related to high priority work that we're doing um, and we should be a, be a bit strategic about it because definitely there's some SMEs that are much more wanted than others like any machine designers for example are quite wanted um, but yeah it, I think it gets down to being very specific like like you know I like I said about the hydraulics experts it's, it boils down to very specific problems that we're dealing with. So, yeah, I kind of have to do that. At least, okay, uh, so we'll, yeah, at least start it. Okay, well, we'll, we'll put that in like more of like a phase two and just stay focused on yeah. pieces, pieces out there. Like right now, it's um, for the HR generalist. I mean, that's, that's, our fo that's our focus right now, trying to build out the, the HR team. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you know how quickly you could get something, how, how quickly the turnaround would be on the actual OSC website? Get a, a link and a... Oh, we could do that. I can I can edit that. I have edit on that. I can just readily edit that site and put in put in those advertisements for that. Yeah, just in a second. Yeah, I can just edit a page like for example the community page and we can start sending people there. If you can do it and make it easy for me, that would be good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, I, okay, yeah. So, I, I mean, if I can just show you, I really think, like, there just should be some kind of call to action right here. Right on top. Yeah, that just says, you know, we're currently seeking, um, you know, contributor contributors. You know, maybe it's a semicolon, HR generalist, or an H, you know, H, I don't know, maybe I can give a better name kind of HR team and then while we're here I might as well write out you know for developers you know with your developers developers is kind of like an overarching category but there's subcategories that right especially yeah especially uh, right uh, there's um yeah, that's up for debate. OSC developers refer specifically to those that have passed the free CAD test since we use the CAD design as our core tool. But then we had, um, like for example yourself, it's a special position. It's HR and there's, we're kind of treating like the special people like there's HR, there might be IT and stuff like that. Um, where we were branding the OSC developer as the particular guy who actually does the free CAD. I don't know if we want to expand that. Uh, if we want to name, like we can probably say development team and then OSC developers. Now, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Because uh, I was trying to reserve that, like the specific person, so there's no ambiguity about what a person does. Right. The, we, we can perhaps say, um, yeah, probably engineering and development team and then there's other special teams but it's really all they're really all osc developers like we graph them all those people that are osc developers that are doing specific work on the critical path i mean those are all mapped in our hours contributions so we can formally say that yeah that is all the osc developers so i guess we should be more specific about the guys who passed the free cat test as as engineering and documentation team yeah yeah that that's that's kind of cru that is crucial um so people have a clear expectation um, what they're going to be doing. So, if I, uh, if I, if I go to that wiki page, though, it, it go through the, the process. What are you, are you testing the engineer or testing the else? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Say it again. Am I what? Uh, so when we go to the, the wiki page, are, yeah. are we, uh, are we, when I go through that, am I, am I, is it clear that I'm going to be categorized as an engineer or categorized 
for those are just foundational skills that you have to have no matter what you do on the court. But a cat person, or a cat, I don't, I don't know what, what were you, like, or maybe I'm not making sense. Sorry. Um, so if I go to the Yeah, let's see developers okay, so page. Job, yeah, so this job description, what bucket are you putting me that in? That was specifically for for the OSC developers, the engineering and documentation team. Okay, so engineering. Sorry, making it about engineering. Yeah, because initially we were considering anybody who joins the team, they should be familiar with this engineering and documentation. Like, well, the free CAD so they could be functional. But obviously that's dropping off by the wayside because there's several people that are not doing that, yourself or the IT guy, um, and we should definitely do enough specialization. Though in principle, it's it's one of those things where at best it would be that the person, wh whichever person knows the free CAD, but of course it's too much to ask for from a lot of people. Right. Like, um, if a person just wants to do copy or they want to do graphics or something and they're good contributors, we don't want to have them do the freak out if they don't want to do that, if they're not passionate about it, you know? Um, but we do like we do like the generalist idea. We are generalists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... I just, I, I'm also trying to think about, you know, lost opportunity. Are there individuals out there that you know, may not be high skill set in this ad system? And is there something, is there a, a contribution and a function? Are there other things? Yeah. Other yeah, there's, it's everything under the sun. But the idea is it has to be tightly integrated with what we're doing and, 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 that integration requires management and the management is what we're short on so that's why at present the strategy was okay build out the engineering development team and then the way this thing is gonna start taking off is once the enterprise part starts kicking in and that's that's the limits so but no I mean we're understaffed and all of that the idea is that we'd like to have the people who join a team more permanently be supported by doing the actual work of some kind of production whether workshops or or production of some sort but we haven't done that much yet there's nobody but like myself maybe my partner here that are actually doing their full time doing this kind of work so everyone else is kind of part-time so our next phase of growth is where we're actually setting people to training and we're getting them to do this for a living you know which is a much taller order but i was hoping that we can survive on the volunteer effort until there's people that are doing this more full-time and then the movement actually starts to grow in a significant way um, and that's where we're trying to get to okay now this helps me to know what the strategic vision is, so um, I'm definitely putting the cart before the horse, so um, yeah. let me take it back. Because the idea is, you know, just to back up a second, is our goal is to create the open source economy. It's an economy where everyone has access to information and, and enterprise ideas, but how do you do it the tactical thing is the mass creation of right livelihood it's it's eventually going to be at the creation of of unjobs you know um right. we want to be the largest unemployer in the world <laughs> but uh, but it it boils down to livelihood creation and that's where we're not i mean we haven't you know, outside of having good social capital and, and good ideas, we really need to start denting the impact on the world, which is what are people doing for a living? You know, are they forced to to work for the man or do things that they don't really like because they have to make a living or are they really pursuing what they need according to self, their self-determination? So um, that's, I mean, that's really where we need to get to. And, and right now we're in a stage where we don't have enough economic 
base to support the grand vision yet. So, and that's where we're trying to get to. can for example like if there's a page on a wiki we can embed it um, to show you an example if you go to opensourceecology.org slash wiki opensourceecology.org slash wiki which is the main page of the wiki what you see up there is an emb I embedded the the main website right I can do the same on the website itself. I can embed in the website, I can embed the wiki. I can go the other way around so we can, you know what I'm saying? Yes, understood. So we can embed, cross embed content. That's nice. Um, like, for example, the developer graphs should go on the main, on the main, um, main site. It's just one of those things that needs to get up there, but we don't really have a web manager doing that. We don't really have a web guy so much. I'm kind of doing that. Well, that's where the HR comes in. So yeah, the web guy and HR team. Yep. But one thing at a time. Yeah. So the HR guys, they they need to understand what they're recruiting for, and that's for the OSE developers, but they're not the specific engineering documentation team. They have right. to understand that page, yeah what they're recruiting for. In other words, the technical developer is the guy with the best profile. Uh, they have to understand enough of the subject matter that they can recruit well. Yeah, so I'm wondering, um, if you are, you're, you're looking for two, we're looking for apples and oranges. So if I, you know, if I click on this site, or, you know, a, a link that's going to draw my attention. Does the HR person, the developer, I mean, the HR person, like, what the hell is this? I can't do that. You know what I mean? So it's uh, more of a current the HR. Um, yeah. Okay, well, let me, let me simplify this. Maybe for now, um, the, um, Maybe we write new copy for this iframe when I click on whatever we put up here. Those two, um, the the get This is a nice introduction. Yeah. Nice chunk of what this is about. Yeah, I um, mean, what you're reading there. I mean, a lot of that is kind of up. It really needs some updating there. I mean, okay. but. Um, we can we can start that I mean in, in general all the info is there but you know we it's like design sprints internships I mean internships are not really there design sprints are there somewhat but it's a little different so definitely it could use some updating uh, but in general it's you know it's it's legit but yeah if we could just just make emphasize on the HR team that's you know we can just add it up on top there mm-hmm So here it will be, you know, we're currently seeking, um, we'll come up with copy that's cur that we're currently seeking, um, and, you know, our team and developers, and maybe uh, I'll click here to apply, and there's uh, if we through the, the site below. And so maybe we don't even this So when I click, 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, we can embed That's that. Heavy. We can embed that in a website. When you click on it, we can go right there. That'll yeah, be, that'll be a good integration. For now. Yeah. yeah, until until the this actual site, oops, sorry, until this site gets updated, um, because this is your this is a this is huge. Like to, to keep this updated, I understand the the uh, the cumbersome. You know, you're the only one doing it, and I understand you can't be um, cloned. Uh, but this this is really important. This is your your shop window that's going to make people want to come inside and learn more. So, really does need to get updated to a realistic to what, where, how, what you guys. And I get it, it's really not that far off base. It doesn't come this, but it's not this. Um, no, but little annoying little tip. Updated. I'm sorry, I wish I knew more about web design. And Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Horrible back. <laughs> um, anywho, so, all right, just let me check for understanding. So, I'm going to write some snap copy that you're going to put up here. I mm -hmm. have an embedded link, and it's just going to take um, our, our folks to this. And then they'll learn, they'll, they'll learn more. I can either click on HR generalist. Uh, I can either click on my developer or HR generalist. Because anybody that's going to best in applying for this, you know, when they're pulling, they're going to read all of this. You will get to go, you know, deep here. Um, the, the wiki. I, there's no way to, the um, hyperlink. Um, I haven't figured it out. Maybe not my, not my week house. Um, anyway, so that was my convoluted check for understanding. We're going to copy, copy, I'll just go here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and then you have to design out a, um, how am I doing on time, Martin? Are, are, are yeah. we okay? okay. Yeah, we should, we should like, get going though. Uh, yeah. We've been on for an hour. I Longer. Yeah, we, we, we can go ahead and wrap it up. I, you yeah. Know, I think the next steps, um, I'll email you some snappy copy um, and where to, to push the, the folks on the, the URL. And then um, Sunday late afternoon, I'll email you uh, some quick hit recruiting pushes for the team crew. Um, and I can send out on Monday. Yeah. And then, uh, finally, um, you have to pay attention to getting in a, a Facebook Facebook link that also highlights. Um, yeah, yeah, the, maybe the a opportunity. Right, um, and I think you now, started. When we, right, and I think you started now, when, the description of how to do that sorry. on Facebook. Sorry, I think you you did well in starting to describe how we do that on Facebook. So that's good. That will be good instructions for the future, and for now. Mm -hmm. And then, um, for now, the, 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 the easy recruiting messages, you can just push out on Facebook, and it'll yeah. have that same link that takes everybody to here. So. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so we'll see you then again on, uh, on a Tuesday at, at 1.30? Yes, sir. I will be there. Excellent. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. That's good. I think it's good tactical information there, just basics of... You know, working with basic tools. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Well, Connie, thank you so much for spending all this time on this. That's good. And yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Thanks a lot, Connie. Bye bye.